What's up guys, welcome back. So today I'm going to be reviewing Flight Simulator. So let's get into the game. So as you can see from the main screen, we've got your world map, you've got your flight challenges, you've got your flight training, activities, and your world updates. So let's go straight into flight training and your general aviation training. So as you can see, you've got your basic controls, your cameras, your altitudes, instruments, takes off, landings, traffic patterns, flight server navigation, and flight server navigation as well. When I actually first got into this game, it, sh it showed you all the basic controls that you can say from here, and the, the graphics were absolutely immense, absolutely fantastic. If you've got 4K TV, boom, you're living in heaven. It's like a cinema mode of just in a world of your own just wow so go on number two your altitude and instruments it teaches you all the basic controls all different instrument panels your flight your leveling your north south and etc so it did take me a while to get used to all of them and now I actually fully understand what they all mean so you could actually go take your flying test and go do you know what? I know what that means so taking off and landing they're actually pretty easy than you expected you may think it's quite daunting but when you're actually in simulation you can mess up as m many times as you want and you can still ha enjoy yourself. Your traffic patterns, so you'll be talking to flight control and it tells you which patterns you want to be get going in. And you take a fly in, you fly down straight into it. Then you go into your first fly solar flight when you have to pick your own path, find out which way you're going and you head towards it. Same navigation and you have a s your first solar navigation as well. So it's all good training techniques. So let's go back. And then you've got your airline train. I'm not really a big fan of that because it's, it's a big plane, but I'm not too fussed. So we shall go into what your activities are. And you've got your landing challenges and you've got your bush trips. The bush trips can last for an hour, depends how long you want to play the game for. It's just literally just flying, you following your navigation. And it can be quite fun because it's actually, I say, the, the view is absolutely immense, but it's pretty fun. And then your landing challenges, so different wind techniques and everything else, so that be quite, can be quite fun and difficult, difficult to play with. So we'll go into the next slide. So as you can see, I've only been playing for about 12 hours. But, yeah. So we'll go straight into my hangars. So you can actually choose a different variety of planes. So you've got your main turbo props, your jets, your propellers and your airlines. Now I always pick the as your first plane you pick the Cessna 152 and it's quite an easy plane before you upgrade to your technology so I picked the Cessna 172 so it's the 172 is, you can actually see all your instrument panels where the Cessna 152 is all basic go back to the 1980s sort of era so let's actually get into the game and actually start playing it So as you can see from the earth itself, it was actually copied from the Google Maps to get a good view of what is actually going on. So to say if you click from Donald, you can set that as departure and then you can set that as arrival. And it gives you how long it's going to take you to get there. So it's actually saying it's going to take you nearly two hours to actually fly there. It all depends if you want to really sit there and fly for two hours. But for now, let's say we shall go to I'm going to start with Flywell because it's one of my favourite places to go. So let's set that as a departure and we shall cancel that and go straight to Flywell. So as you can see I'm using my Xbox controller. I'm not really big into this fancy if, like, if I was really into simulation I'll probably get all the technology and stuff but I don't play as much so I stick with my basic controller. All right, so that's ready to fly. All right, so let's zoom out a little bit. So have a good look around. So as you can see, it comes up on your screen. You've got your navigation. You've got your map over here. And this is the pitch trim. So you get a nice set on the cruise control. That's your throttle, mixture. So all these several different buttons. So have a look 
bit of a look around, so it's quite a nice leather seat plane. So let's uh, full power on, take the parking brake off. So you want to make sure it's up to 65 knots. start lifting off. And then you generally want an altitude of about 5,000 feet, but it might take a year or a while to get up there. But I think for precipices we're going to stick to about 1,000 feet for now. So let's go on to what it actually looks like. Pittsford water over there. I, say, I love the graphics, I really do. But the turn is so easy. Now, I've actually flown a plane myself before, going back a while back in 2018. I shall post that at some point. And I've rather enjoyed it. It's quite a nerve wracking because I more just want to stick to the ground. But I actually rather enjoy it. I mean, would I take it as a pilot license? Maybe, maybe in the future. But this fundamental this simulation actually teaches you all the basic information you kind of need to know how to fly a plane. And it is quite fun. But imagine you're taking a pilot license, you can take your friends and family out, you can fly to anywhere you want, within the limitation of how much fuel you have, I guess. Alright, let's go land it, shall we? Right, so as I say, into the flight pattern, you want to make sure you have several different angles. As you can see on the screen down here, you want to make sure you're in a sort of left angle. And then you want to gradually slow your engine down so you can drop down a few feet. Generally, that's a bit of a overturn because you want to do it at least 30 degrees. So we put F8. I'll put my flaps down. So there you go, like that. And I just want to come down gently. And as you're doing it, slow your engine down a little bit more. Keep your eyes on the runway, a little bit further, and then bring your nose up so you don't crash to the ground. A little bit hard. And then you put your brakes on. And there you go. So I say every round you don't always get a perfect landing, but with more practice, you will. Perfect, beautiful, look at that. Right, so we shall leave that. So we'll go back to the main menu. Alright, so let's go back into the world map again. And then, as I said, you can actually travel all around the world. You can go see the Opera Tower, you can go see the pyramids. You know, if it's on there, you name it. You can fly to it. Right, so let's actually fly to Paris. So it's a departure. Let's click fly. There you go. Here's the Eiffel Tower. Wow, do you know that looks beautiful? I think I would actually love to fly. Wow. Just look at that town, look at the sea. But look at the Eiffel Tower, wow. I wonder if I can fly for it. Technically this, this would actually be illegal to fly, but like that. Hmm. No one's watching, so other than the YouTubers. Are we ready? Can I fly for it? No, nope, I think I'm gonna hit it. 
Oh, I actually flew through it. Yay. Oh, that was a bit risky, isn't it? There you go. <laughs> so, is it a game actually worth playing? Yeah, I would say so. If you enjoy simulations, you enjoy being zoned into parts of the world and just seeing the world just by sitting in your own chair. I think it's worth it. I mean, I find it actually relaxes me. I find if I have a busy day at work, I can come home and I can sit playing my flight simulator and do relax. You know, sometimes I could be flying for an hour and I do fall asleep. It's no problem. If you crash the plane, you know, you're not burning up an expensive plane, thank goodness, you know. I wouldn't recommend it. But it happens, you know. Sometimes you can be just really tired. So there you go. But yeah, play it, see what you like. Comment in my box down below and uh, let me know what you think. So, like and subscribe, stay tuned, thanks for watching.